Okay, Paul talked about validity in a previous video. Uh, induction asks the question, is an argument strong or weak? This is still a logical issue. It really doesn't have a lot to do with the real world or facts. It still has to do with a hypothetical thought experiment. But with inductive arguments, what you want to ask yourself initially would be, if the premise were true, would it give me good reason to believe the conclusion? And by good, I mean better than 50% chance, but not certainty. Only a deductive argument can give you a certainty. So induction will make the conclusion likely to be true if it's working. For instance here, let's imagine we have this argument here. It has been sunny for the past, say, five days. Thus, it will probably be sunny tomorrow. Well, if it's been sunny for the past five days, that's a bit of a pattern. I would say it's on the strong side. If we said it has been sunny for the past 25 days, thus it will probably be sunny tomorrow. It's an even stronger argument. If we said it has been sunny for the past 10 million years, therefore it will be sunny tomorrow, it's an even stronger argument. But in none of these arguments do the premises absolutely guarantee the conclusion. Induction will never guarantee the conclusion. They can be really good arguments. In fact, we bet our lives on them on a regular basis. Science is based on induction for the most part. So induction is good stuff. We don't want to knock it down just because it doesn't prove something. Uh, but it acts in a different way than deductive arguments. Deductive arguments, if they're valid, absolutely guarantee the conclusion if the premises are true. With induction, not so much. Imagine this argument. It has been sunny yesterday, and therefore it will be sunny tomorrow. That's not so strong. Just because it was sunny yesterday doesn't give me good reason to believe it was sunny. It'll be sunny tomorrow. It has been sunny once in the past month. Therefore, it'll be sunny tomorrow. Pretty weak argument. That premise does not give me much reason to believe the conclusion at all. It has been sunny one day this past year. Therefore, it'll be sunny tomorrow. Really weak argument. So you can see arguments, inductive arguments can be very weak, kind of weak, weak. Strong, very strong, very, very, very strong. But they never quite get to absolute certainty or absolute guaranteed bad. It's going to be somewhere in the middle, a little bit of this kind of gray area. They tend to require a little more discussion, a little more thought, and a different kind of thought than deductive arguments. But they're a different animal completely.